Hi there, this is Andy Stoll from Mixed Reality IO, and today I want to talk to you about my top three reasons why you may want to switch from Zoom meetings to virtual reality meetings. Let's dig in. There are definitely more than just three reasons to switch from Zoom to virtual reality meetings. But in this video, I want to focus on the ones that are most obvious and easiest to explain to someone who perhaps has never been in virtual reality before. So here we go. Reason number one, product design. Designers in the automotive industry, for example, have been using virtual reality for quite a number of years already. The design process of developing a new car takes a very long time and visualizing different iterations and prototypes is super tedious work. Using 3D models in virtual reality in addition to or perhaps even instead of handcrafted clay models altogether has proven to be a very efficient change in the process. The reason why the car industry jumped on this so early is because it can save millions by setting up VR meetings for the designers and managers in charge who are perhaps located in you know, different countries around the world and therefore don't need to get on an airplane and spend valuable time and money on travel. With the car design example, it is probably very obvious that this can't be done with Zoom. But even with products that are much less complex, the benefits of being able to see a prototype in three dimensions and being able to you know, walk around it and look at it from all sides and angles and being able to collaborate with your design colleagues in this virtual reality space can be hugely beneficial. Other examples are in real estate or even in the fashion industry. Imagine walking through the different kinds of layouts of a new office space that you're planning to build or checking out you know, 10 different designs of dresses on virtual and animated models while you know, they're walking down a virtual catwalk and you and your design colleagues being right there to discuss it. You know, change it, annotate it in real time. Well, Zoom can't do that. Reason number two, networking. Zoom has been a fantastic tool for many of us to stay in touch with people that we know, you know, whether that's friends and family at home or colleagues and clients at work. But what if you're looking to meet new people? Well, in a normal world without the restrictions of COVID-19, we would attend conferences, events, and uh, you know, perhaps some local meetups to find new people to connect with. I'm aware, of course, that Zoom and other video platforms do have uh, some networking capabilities. Maybe some of you have been in one of those Zoom meetings where, you know, at first you, you see that large panel of, um, you know, dozens of unknown faces on the screen. And then the host of the meeting, you know, puts you into a separate video chat with some random people for you to meet. But perhaps that was not really the conversation that you wanted to join, let alone if you really wanted to meet, you know, those particular people. The advantage of virtual reality meetings, or what's also known as you know, social VR, is that it can simulate a real networking scenario. So very much like in the real world, you can you know, walk into a room filled with people and at your own control, you can listen into different conversations happening around you and choose the one that you really feel like joining. You can then introduce yourself, you know, participate in the conversation and perhaps establish a relationship with someone, you know, who might be your future client, partner, uh, investor, or maybe just another friend you can have a work related conversation with. Pretty cool. Reason number three, your curiosity. You may wonder now, why do I say your curiosity? Well, virtual and augmented reality are here to stay and we're only going to see more of it. So we might as well check it out now. The uptake of VR in particular has been tremendous in recent months. In fact, the most popular VR headsets out there have been sold out for a long time during this Corona period. According to many sources out there, and in this particular case by Artillery Intelligence, both VR revenue as well as VR unit sales have gone up and will continue to grow in the future. If you are at all interested in any of this, then now may be a good time for you to you know, start experimenting with this new medium and to see for yourself what you think the advantages and disadvantages of VR meetings are and whether, you know, whether or not you think it's actually better than Zoom or any other of the video chat platforms out there. If your curiosity is big enough now, maybe ask that friend of yours who already has you know, a VR headset at home or maybe at the office and you know, ask him to let you have a peek inside. You will enjoy it, I guarantee. 
If you found this video valuable and think someone else would benefit from it too, then please feel free to share it and let me know what you think in the comments below. Should you have any specific questions or would like to have a quick chat about this, don't hesitate to drop me a line. You can find my contact information on my website at mixedreality.io. Alright, thanks very much for watching and talk to you again soon. Cheers!